Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, today we are going to discuss how we can interact with text box or input box. In order to do that guys, so in my previous videos here, if you have seen, I have always opened google.com. If you inspect it, we have element section here. In element section, we have the entire DOM format for this input box. If you hover here, the input box is getting highlighted. So we have to frame an XPath so that if I want to type anything, I can type it in this in input box. For that, guys, let me open up. Uh, let me open up my code. So let us copy some of the code from here. We can copy till this part. And I have already created my Java script file input interact text box .js. Let me paste here. First, we have to frame a X path. In order to frame the X path, you can directly see here the main tag is input. We have a input tag with the attribute specifying name. So name is Q. Based on that, this attribute, we'll uh, frame an XPath. And based on the XPath, we will uh, try to write something in the input in the input box or a text box. Let me minimize this. Now, this in this code, we have we are only we are only launching Google.com. Now we are not doing any interaction on it. So let me let me rephrase the describe. Uh, text to to testing input box or maybe interacting with input box that might sound good with input box so let the it block will be launch browser uh, for now we'll do one thing i'll uh, i don't want semicolon for now we are we have now launched the browser now we have to create element this element will hold the key for the input box so we'll take await space page dot we have method called wait for xpath so if you open the bracket it takes xpath and string we have many options invisible a visible option boolean hidden boolean timeout etc for now only we have to frame an xpath so let us now frame an xpath for framing an xpath guys we have to first take a tag so tag will be input and in the open bracket close bracket we have to specify the attribute so attribute was name so now what was the what was there inside that attribute so q so this will uh, uniquely identify our text box now we'll click on enter now i'll write await ELV dot if you put dot so now it opens up uh, methods which can be used here so type and upload file so i'll use type so what I can type, I want to type, this is Google input box and I'll close the browser. So I have to use await browser dot close. And I'll use the slow motion also here. Slow mo, I use 100. And let me also use await page dot so wait for. So values wait for a timeout 
let us just wait for three seconds so that I could see the Google has launched properly and it is typing. So let me run this guys. In order to run this, I have to just write a rename and I'll copy this. I'll use packet.json and I've pasted it in track type code.js. So I'll save this. Now, npm test. Now what we'll do, it will launch the browser and it will wait, after that it will wait for 3 seconds. It will find that input element text box. Then it will write google.com and then it will close the browser. So now let us see. So now, so it has launched the Google. So google.com, it has opened it. So it is loading. So it has, it, it will wait for 3 seconds. Now it will type the text which we have given. Yes, this is a Google input box. It has waited for a while. It has now passed. So, what what is extra that we can give? So we can also give something called delay. It has to be in open bracket, close bracket. So delay we can specify. So delay let us wait for half a second. Now I'll, I'll run the same test. I'll give less for packet.json timeout. So let us give 40,000. That much is now required, 45,000 maybe. Now let me run the test again npm test so now npm test will do the same thing it will launch the google chrome it will wait for three seconds then we'll type whatever we have given the message so now chrome has now launched now it will start to type after three seconds this is google input box now the browser is saved now the test is passed so two things we have learned guys we have learned wait for xpath is one method where we can give the xpath and we can find the element uniquely and the type function where we can type and also we can give the delay. So that's it for the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you are a new viewer, please click on subscribe. And also the code will be in the description. If you like to enhance or if you want to put any comments, please let me know in the comments below. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.